Hi. <laughs> I don't film at night as a rule. I'm I my brain is already starting to shut off. <laughs> I need a drink. But I could not wait to unbox the December fairy loot box. I'm so excited! If you remember, I was a rep for them for August, September, October, and then just because of logistical reasons, I missed out November, and now I'm a rep for another three months for December, January, and February. So I'm so excited. I adore Fairy Loot. They never fail. Constantly 10 out of 10. 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. Yep. Yep. They literally put so much quality and thought into all of their items and books. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell. I'm, I need to not threaten you with scissors, but ring the bell button. I'll leave all Fairy Loot information down below. You should definitely go check them out. Join the wait list. Let's do it. I can't even remember what the theme this month is. So our theme is Thick as Thieves. We've got this nice little art here. What's our, f oh my God. <laughs> Yay! The first item is a beanie. Oh my God, this is so cute. Hang on, let me look at, <gasps> it's got dragons. It's got dragons. Sorry, this is incredible. Hang on, I, I'm not very good with beanies, wait. I'm not very good with beanies, like making them look cute. There? That is kind of cute, you know? I'll get better in time. It's the nerves. I kind of look like an elf. <laughs> I'm not very good at putting something like that on, on camera. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> but this is a lovely beanie. I get cold very easily, so anything like this helps a gal out. That's really nice. Let's find out who this is designed by. Oh, this is inspired by The Hobbit. That's cute. The beanie features artwork by Jez Hawk and has many elements that link to the story. That's super cool. I haven't read The Hobbit, but the dragons are really cute and I really like the design of this. Okay, so whatever's next is in a box. What? So it's like, okay, I think it's a book you can store stuff in. It's got this really nice design on the outside. I assume it's their fourth one of these because it's got volume four on it. <laughs> and on the inside, it has got loads of really nice quotes and artwork. I really love the kind of like lavender gray vibe of this. We've got quotes from The Hobbit, The Gilded Wolves, which I really want to read. I really want to read The Gilded Wolves. Days of Blood and Starlight, The Lies of Locke Lamora, A Dark Shade of Magic, and The Last Magician. That's really cute. I, I think it's a lovely to go like on your bookshelf. Like the spine looks really nice. Because I often think, right, we buy books for book covers, but then the book cover isn't what you spend the most time looking at. It's the spine. So I'm really starting to appreciate a nice spine more. We're including the fourth and last secret book designed by No Rantel in this box. It's perfect for storing all your trinkets and treasures and it's inspired by a bunch of different fandoms of great friendships. Well, I think that's a super cute idea and I'm already thinking about what I'm going to store in here. Not sure yet, but I really like that. That's a lovely thing to have in your bookshelf. Next, I have just seen this. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, so we have got a 2021 calendar in here, and I assume that's Percy Jackson, the first one. Are these all Percy Jackson? I don't know Percy Jackson well enough to know whether they are. Who are you people? Some of you don't... Yeah, this ain't all Percy Jackson. Can you tell me who these people are? Hmm, I know a lot of things, but I don't know about that. I'm not sure why. I'm not good at recognising characters by their artwork. Like, it could be a book I've read three times. I'm not very good at recognising characters by their artwork. But this has some beautiful artwork in it. I'll make sure to show close-ups. Really nice faces in this. I really like this. What does this say? Gorgeous calendar featuring artwork from Dameek Wesson. Artwork is inspired by Throne of Glass, A Darker Shade of Magic, The Gilded Wolves, Scythe. Scythe? I've got to figure out who that is. Percy Jackson and Dance of Thieves. Right, which one's Scythe? Because I should know that one. Oh, yeah, of course. The one with the scythe. The ones with the scythes are the scythes. Ugh. <laughs> you bitches are stupid. 
this could be really good for planning my content because at the moment I just print out content calendars but this could be a really good way of having all of my video plans in one place so that's probably what I'm going to end up using this for I think that's a really nice way because then I'm looking at the book characters while I come up with my book ideas so yeah that's a really really nice thing okay what next what is this oh my god wait what is this Ooh, a letter opener inspired by Throne of Glass. That's cute. I don't know what you say have. Well, I suppose I do get letters fairly often. I just rip them open because I have no sense of grace and decorum. You have all the grace and decorum of a reversing dump truck. <laughs> I hope now you spend it on getting some lessons in grace and decorum because you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tyres on. But that's super cute. That's really cute. Again, I don't know how much use I have for this because I'm not a letter gal, but I'm sure I'll find a use. <laughs> then we've got the two tarot cards for this month, which are King of Swords and Queen of Swords. What are you from? They are designed by Ars28 and inspired by House of Earth and Blood. Haven't read it, but I do like these being on my bookshelves. I think they look super cute, especially on my like fantasy shelves. Oh, we've got a cute little notepad. I love small notepads that I can just jot down to-do lists or like random thoughts, like what time I'm in a video, I need to put a card in. This is featuring artwork by Inusify Art and inspired by Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi. I have really wanted to read that, but I have not. And I've heard mixed things about the sequel and that's always put me off. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's an art print inspired by the Raven Cycle. It's by Saint Dre underscore Saint Dre. I started the Raven Boys a couple months ago now for a readathon, and then it was like a 24 hour one, and I knew I wasn't gonna finish it, so I shelved it. And I haven't continued it, but I will once. Oh no, I know what video I'm doing it in. It's planned for a video, so I will be reading it probably February, January, February next year. I will be reading it. So super cute. Okay, and then we have got the book. I have no idea what this book could be. But let's just... Fairly, I am fed up with you. You are sick! I've already seen the glitter sprayed edges and I'm already crying! <laughs> Girl, I just can't take this. It's too much. Give my pocketbook, I'm leaving. I love them! <gasps> okay. Oh, wait, I haven't even heard of this book. Firstly, can we talk about how gorgeous this print is? I assume it's of one of the characters in the book, which is Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. Listen, I love Fairy Loot's glittery sprayed edges. Like, I would die for them. They're so gorgeous. Let's look. Oh, it's signed by both authors. I already know there's gonna be some... Ooh, okay. So that's a really nice foil design on there. And then let's have a look at this. Oh my God. Okay, look at that artwork. Don't you want to cry? Who's this designed by? Bloody damn it. I just love the artwork that Fairy Loot have on the inside of their Just Jackets. Like, it's just so gorgeous. I'll make sure to show you a close-up. Let's find out what this book is about. Life in the Queen City isn't easy, especially for a two-bit thief like Rags. When his latest score goes sideways, he's nabbed by a royal sorcerer, Morin the Last, who forces him to steal the six pieces of an immeasurably powerful ancient fey relic. Rags is determined to somehow get away unscathed until he discovers that the relics Morin is, act is after are actually people! A distractedly handsome fey prince who's been asleep for centuries, a queen's guard deserter with more honour than common sense, a daughter of a disgraced noble family who hits first and asks questions later, a deceptively sweet-natured prince, a member of the underground resistance, neither trusting nor trustworthy, and him, Rags. There's no way they can let Maureen enact his dark plans, but six misfits against an exceptionally wicked enemy doesn't make for generous odds. Luckily, Rags is not generous, he's smart, and he's a plan that just might work. Wait, how did I not heard of this book? This sounds so interesting. This cover is really pretty, and I'm very intrigued by this now. Like, I'm super intrigued. I love, like, found family, group of friends books. I think they're so much fun. Oh, okay. I'm really excited to read this. Like I said, I hadn't heard anything about it, but I think this could be something I really, really like. It sounds like the kind of fantasy I like, so I'm super excited. Wow, that was a really great box. I've missed Fairy Loot so much. They always smash it. They always smash it. 
Um, I would really recommend going and joining the waitlist if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!